All right, man, peace. So now this is a relatively big story in the New York area. This young, uh, this young girl right here, her name is Ebony Merritt. She was involved in an altercation with one of her so-called friends at a sleepover in which I guess they got into a verbal dispute or spat. I don't know how severe the dispute was, but it precipitated a, um, a very harsh assault on this young girl by her so-called friend in which the friend decided that she was going to douse this young girl with a, uh, a large cauldron, if you will, of boiling hot water. Okay? And it's just amazing to me. But they're going to report the story. I'm going to chime in. It was supposed to be a fun overnight with friends, but this 11-year-old girl wound up in the burn unit. Look at this shit, man. Look at this. Uh, this young girl here, as you can see, um, is, was the victim of a very, very harsh attack and has blisters all over her face and her body. And who knows how her face is going to heal. I'm trying to figure out what, can, what, what type of dispute can you get into that will cause you to pour a, a cauldron of boiling hot water over somebody like that. All right? What type of home were you raised in that you would think to do something like that? Obviously, her friend is mentally disturbed. Right now, the other angle of it could be that uh, possibly this female right here, this young lady right here, uh, maybe she was a little mentally disturbed and she ran into somebody else who was mentally disturbed. And a lot of times the judgment can be harsh. But all, all I can do for the moment is judge the story on what has occurred. And uh, this is quite frankly ridiculous, man. This is crazy. Some shit like this happened to your child. Somebody might have to die. Police say she was attacked with a pot of boiling water as she slept. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. New tonight, relatives say the child may have been threatened right before she went to bed. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has more on the sleepover scalding. She's live at Harlem Hospital right now. Hazel? Well, Maurice and Christine, one thing we have learned tonight is that Jamani Aisha Merritt is one tough young girl. Her family tells us that she's actually in really good spirits, despite the fact that she suffered severe burns to her face and upper body. But perhaps what is more painful to this 11-year-old girl is that she was allegedly attacked by someone who she thought was a friend. Looking at Jamani Aisha Merritt's infectious smile makes it all the more heartbreaking to see the 11-year-old now in the Harlem Hospital burn unit. This shit is incredible to me, man. Uh, but that just goes to show you, number one, if you're a parent, you got to be careful uh, who your child's friends are. A lot of these people, they're not raised with any type of decorum. Uh, they're not raised with problem-solving abilities. Look at this girl, man. Got blisters all on her damn forehead, her eyes are shut. Wincing in pain. Police say she was intentionally scalded with boiling water by someone whom the young girl considered a friend. And I'm trying to figure out why, why is the nightly news showing this photo? They have to blur out the young girl's breasts. So that shows that you really shouldn't be showing the photo. All right? Some things, you know, some things you don't have to show. But, you know, for the sake of the segment... Uh, it's good to illustrate how vicious people can be, most likely for no reason. I mean, what type of dispute, what type of verbal dispute could they, could they have gotten into that could precipitate something like this? Her and her friend got into an argument and she told her if she go to sleep, they was going to do something to her. Jamani Aisha, who goes by the name Jamani. And um, you can see by the shirt that she has on that the family that she comes from seems to have some type of... Uh, of cultural affinity told her family and police around 3 a.m. Monday she fell asleep at a slumber party inside her friend's apartment here on Finley Avenue in the Bronx that's when investigators say a 12 year old girl threw a pot of boiling water on her head she said she was screaming that she was burning Jamani suffered severe blistering burns to her face and they keep showing this photo for whatever reason I guess to um <laughs> I guess to send some type of, of a message of horror to the viewing audience. To me, it's not really necessary. We get the point already. 
face, shoulders, chest, and back. Since she was hospitalized, her mother, Ebony Merritt, has barely left her side, except to seek legal counsel, as prosecutors consider filing felony... Well, remember, remember what I said about her possibly coming from a family of culture? Uh, let me take that back. The mother looks like a damn hood rat, all right? And I know some people might not like that, that statement, but that's okay. Uh, I'm making it, and I'm sticking to it. Felony charges against the 12-year-old suspect. Merritt and everyone close to Jamani want to know why the adults supervising the girls apparently did nothing to stop the fighting. Well, I have to also ask the mother, um, did you properly vet this girl that your daughter was friends with? Did you properly vet the parents that were there at the home when you let your child sleep at another location? Uh, not only do you have to know the, the, the friend, you have to know the parents, you have to know the siblings of your child's friend. Right? You never know what could happen, man. You got rapists and pedophiles and uh, sexual degenerates all over the fucking place, man. I couldn't even imagine a child doing that to another child. That's my point. Like, what, what, where did you learn that type of, 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 of behavior from? That's what I mean when I say if you're a parent... How come she didn't vet her, her, her daughter's friend's parents? Because clearly if the daughter's doing that, she's learning that from, from her, you know, from what she has in her environment. I mean, damn, you're going to boil water and pour, pour boiling water on somebody's face? Relatives say Jamani has still not seen how a cruel act has changed her appearance. But her closest cousins say after spending the last two days with her in the hospital, they are confident nothing can break her uplifting spirit. She seemed to still have the same energy, like nothing ain't changed her. She's still smiling, joking, laughing. Yeah, and look, let me say this. I hope that those young, those young women that were on camera... I hope that they're not the type that off camera are acting crazy and trying to jump other girls and because we see that a lot amongst the so-called young black woman. All right. They like to act a certain way on camera, but then off camera, you know, it's a whole different spirit. I mean, this story is proof of that. I hope that the girl can bounce back. I hope that she can bounce back personality wise, but her face is not going to heal the same way. I mean, those burns are serious, man. Jamani's family says they don't know at this point how long she'll have to be hospitalized, but they are holding a prayer vigil here at the hospital sometime tomorrow. We're live outside Harlem Hospital tonight. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Yeah, it, <laughs> man, this shit is crazy. We wish her well. Thank you, Hazel. Look, let me say this. Uh, and I say this all the time, and I, and I always try to direct my comments to brothers man let me tell you something for those y'all who have daughters uh you got to be very very careful who your daughter's around because the woman is a receiver by nature all right that's why you know her her genitalia goes inside because she's a receiver by nature you got to be careful any female relative that you have that you care about whether it's your niece your daughter whoever you have to be careful who she's around and the messages that she's receiving you know, because the woman is a receiver and um, they're more prone to receiving demons. They're more prone to receiving uh, all type of, of uh, doctrines and ideologies of confusion. This girl was victimized because she was around somebody who she thought was a friend and clearly wasn't. When I see something like that, that tells me that the girl who did that to her most likely was jealous of her over something, whatever it was. Uh, whatever type of argument they had, it makes me wonder, could it have been over a little boy? Because, uh, I mean, what, 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 what would provoke something like that? Something like that is normally over jealousy, you know? A lot of times you'll hear about a woman trying to pour bo uh, boiling water on somebody, but it's usually a man. There are stories that go on over in the Middle East of, of uh, men throwing acid in the face of women, all right? Women that they feel like... Uh, are not carrying themselves how they're supposed to carry themselves, who have dishonored the family. Right? When, when you pour acid or boiling water in somebody's face, you're trying to disfigure them for life. So, honestly, I'm not trying to imply anything, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was over a boy, a young boy, or something of that nature. But I guess we'll find out in subsequent reports. But there's no doubt in my mind 
that the little girl who executed that attack had to have learned that from other females in her family, most likely her mother. And the, and the little girl who was victimized to me, her mother displayed a lot of hood rat. And a lot of people ain't going to like this. I don't, give, I don't give two shits. It is what it is. You know, her mother did not execute or did not show any type of responsibility, not, not in her appearance or in allowing her daughter to stay over at a place where, to me, the friend wasn't properly vetted and the family wasn't properly vetted. Anyway, peace.